I'm gonna share with you five settings inside of YouTube that if you are not using these, you are costing yourself views and subscribers. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel and make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I go live to answer your YouTube questions. Okay, so YouTube gives us a ton of features to help us drive traffic internally, to help people subscribe to our channels, to help us get more views, to basically make their platform and the user experience better but are you using these features? For this, we are going to go to the computer and I'm gonna show you what these features are and how to implement them on your channel so that you don't miss out on views and subscribers. Let's go. Okay, the very first feature that we're gonna talk about is the branding watermark. What that is, is if you go to a video, it is this little thing down here in the corner. Basically, when people hover over that, the subscribe button pops up and it gives them the option to subscribe. I like to use the actual subscribe button on there, but of course you can use a logo or any other type of graphic, but it's important that you're using this because it makes it easier for people to subscribe to your channel. In order to add this, all you have to do is go into your creator studio. Once you're in your creator studio, you want to go to your channel option and then go down to branding. Once you are in branding, you will see this option here to add a watermark. All you do is you click on that and you grab a watermark from your computer. This pack that I have right here, you can actually get this at Tuber Tools where you get a handful of options to use for your subscribe watermark. But if you make your own, just make sure that you make it at 800 by 800 pixels because that is what is recommended by YouTube. So I'm gonna select this one, then I'm gonna hit save. Then I'm gonna hit save again after it shows me the preview. Once you have it selected, you can choose the custom start time. You can choose to put it just at the end of the video or the entire video. Personally, I put mine at a custom start time. I put it at 45 seconds, and the reason for that is it gives me enough time to get all of my intro stuff out of the way and actually get into the video before this option pops up. So once you have all of that set, then you just click update and you now have a branding watermark, which makes it easier for people to subscribe to your channel. The next thing on the list is also under the channel features. If you go to featured content and you click on that, it will bring you to a page that looks like this and you will see the option up here for the featured content. Basically for this, all you do is you click on feature content and it gives you the option to choose your most recent upload or to choose a video or playlist. One thing I want you to consider is when you choose a most recent upload, this basically, when you upload a new video, it's going to spread that most recent upload across all of your videos, which is going to help feed more people into that new video. Now, if you're doing any type of affiliate marketing or if you have any type of videos that are there for the sake of lead generation or something like that that are more important than getting views on a most recent upload, then you can choose that video or playlist here. So I'm gonna leave this on the most recent upload. I'm gonna hit save. And with this, you have the same options that you do with the branding watermark. Um, for this, I'm gonna do a custom start time as well and for this one I'm going to choose the two minute mark and the reason for that is that most of my videos are over two minutes long so that actually you know gives a little bit of time before this option comes in because I have my remember to subscribe uh, lower third that pops up I have the branding watermark that pops up and other calls to action so I want to give this a little bit of time before this one comes in and in addition to the time that I set you can actually optimize the timing as well and what this does is it allows YouTube to set the timing that this shows up based on your viewers previous viewing behavior. So once you have that set up, then you just hit update and then your featured video is all set. The next thing on the list is taking advantage of your channel links on your YouTube channel. As you can see here, I have the click to subscribe option. I also have a Twitter, Instagram, a link to Tuber Tools, and a link to where I sell my shirts and other merchandise. How you set this up is you can just hover over your header and you can click on the pencil icon here and you can go to edit links that way or you can just click on your about page and you can scroll down and you can hover over this section and you can click on the pencil icon to edit links there. If you do not have links in there already, you'll see a little option right over here that says, uh, it's just like a little button with a little plus sign on it uh, that tells you to add links. But once you find this section and you actually go to add links, all you have to do is click on the pencil icon. And once you're on that pencil icon, you can just add your links in there in whatever order that you like. One thing that I do recommend, as you can see here, because I have my subscribe auto link here in my header as well, 
and I put click to subscribe so that it shows up here so that it's extremely obvious and it's a strong call to action. Now, depending on the purpose of your YouTube channel, if you're trying to drive traffic or generate leads or whatever it happens to be, you may want to put your website or other, you know, other things that you're trying to get attention to as that first spot because that is what is actually going to come up here and it allows you to add text to it to create a stronger call to action. The next thing on our list is making sure to utilize series playlists. And the reason for this is because YouTube tells us that if we use a series playlist, they are more likely to show videos that are related to that playlist. To do this one, we're going to go to the playlist page, of course, and then I'm, I'm going to click on this first playlist here so you can see what I mean. Once I'm in this playlist, I'm going to click on playlist settings. And then you can see right here that I have set as official series for this playlist already checked. So what that means is when people are watching this video, then there's a higher chance that YouTube is also going to recommend these videos either as an autoplay or after the video stops playing or as a suggested video in the sidebar. And one side note that I also want to make sure that I mention is when you are in your playlist, this is also where you set up your playlist description. So, you know, of course you put your title in here when you're creating your playlist, but if you want to actually create a description for your playlist, this is where you do that as well. And I highly recommend doing this for a couple of reasons. One, because playlists can rank in search, which helps the discoverability of your content. And two, when you go to your channel page, it actually gives a longer description. You know, it gives a little bit more detail about what it is that you are offering uh, in each particular playlist. And one thing I want to show you here just to hammer this idea of the series playlists home is if you look here, right, I'm on the first video, which is how to live stream on YouTube with OBS fast start guide. Now, if you look here, the autoplay that's going to come up next is the live stream like a pro. And that's because this video is directly connected to this video through that playlist. If you look down the suggested videos, you'll also see that second video here, which is also directly connected to these two other live streaming videos in that series playlist. Another thing on this list, if you go back into your creator studio, once you are inside of your creator studio, go back over to your channel options and then go down to upload defaults. This is extremely handy, extremely useful for making sure that you have all of the right stuff inside of all of your video descriptions. So basically what it is, is when you are creating your videos or when you upload your videos actually, this is what auto populates into the description area of your videos. So as you can see here, I have the subscribe for more free YouTube tips with my auto subscribe short link that I got from TubeBuddy. I have that here at the very top of the list along with some other things that I modify per video. But this basically gets my structure together and then I can just go in and, and say, uh, let's say that I don't want to do any type of affiliate promotion on this particular video. So I just go ahead and I delete those. And then I already have, you know, a recommended playlist in there so that I don't have to go and hunt it down every time because I like to send a lot of, you know, a lot of people to this playlist because it's important. Um, and I, of course, you know, I have my website links in there. Um, I have a link to my brother's channel in there. I have a link to my VIP club in there and so on. But this is basically all of the important information that I need to make sure that I remember. And most importantly, out of all of this, is this subscribe for more free YouTube tips at the very top. So once this actually shows up in a video when, when I'm doing an upload, all I have to do is hit two spaces down and then I go in and I start putting my description here. This will help you get more subscribers by making sure that you remember to add your subscribe link in here. Um, it'll help you get more views because it will help you remember to make sure that you have at least one recommended playlist inside of your description. Of course, you can add, you know, 10 different playlists in here if you want, and then just go through and delete the ones that you don't use. But this makes it to where you don't really have to think about it because it's already in there. All you have to do is go in and delete the stuff that you don't want instead of trying to remember all of the important things that you do want to add to your your video descriptions. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe icon right now so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.